Zach, good morning. How are you? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Welcome to uh, the 75 Chrome Shops uh, 25th Annual uh, Truck Show. Uh, how's it going for you so far? Real good. Yeah. Glad the rain's holding off for a while here. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It, it is. I don't want the guys to have to wipe on the trucks over and over and over again, but it is keeping that Florida sun at bay for the moment, so we're enjoying some, some nice moderate temperatures here. Tell me about this truck that you got. Well, it's been in the making for over a year. I've, we've got uh, about 19 trucks on the road at home, and uh, we're just a farm. We have, we're a farm-plated company, so we just haul all of our own stuff, hogs, and we have belts and vans and uh, hoppers and uh, tra uh, li livestock trailers. And uh, it's been a dream of mine to kind of do what we did here, and it's kind of put it together. Yeah, for sure. Now, where's home? Spencerville, Ohio. Okay. Near, um, Dayton, Ohio. If people heard of Dayton, we're, we're one hour west of Dayton, Ohio. All right, great. Um, so you said this has been a dream of yours. So let's let's go back to that dream state. What were you thinking of uh, that you wanted to have, and tell us how that came about. Well, as a kid, I always liked anything with a motor. Didn't really get into big trucks. Till I was older. We didn't even own a semi till 2008. So we kind of exploded off of that, just getting into different stuff. What kind of launched the trucking industry for me is all of our feed program. We just drop and hook a lot of stuff, and then we obviously have hogs, so we haul all of our own hogs. So that's how it kind of got into the truck and stuff, and I've always loved a Peterbilt. When I was younger, I didn't even know what I even liked until you kind of get into it, and you start to get, get them dialed in, what guys are doing, and yeah. kind of learn from there. Now, did you straight away say that you wanted to have something like a vanilla-colored truck with shave this and that and the other, or you know, how, how did this look come about? When we ordered the truck, it was just a line, or just a green frame. We knew we was going to completely pull the, everything off and uh, take it down to frame rails, and, and we actually repainted the whole truck, you know, whole thing, frame and body and everything. Definitely the colors change as we kind of got into it. But as far as the base pearl that come from the factory, the frame is completely different okay. from what it was. All right, so we're going to move in a little closer here. I'm going to whip out the old gimbal camera here so we can get uh, some close-up looks at some things. And Nikolai is behind the other camera. Uh, let's start with uh, what we're looking at straight away, this this green. It's like an emerald color green, or you know, correct me on that. It's a three-stage coat. It kind of goes on black. And then we put a, a green, a, it's a house of color green, and then we clear it a couple times, and so it's a three-stage three stage color. Okay. That looks amazing. Uh, and if the, the sun's not out fully right now, but I can only imagine when the sun is directly shining on this how, how lush and, and, uh, and liquid it looks. On the pearl, if you look in the sun, it's very difficult to see, but there's a mm. green flake in the pearl that kind of offsets the... Okay. I love this touch here with the uh, steering wheel shaft coming through. Um, now, who assisted you with uh, the creation and build of this truck? Dickerson Custom Trucks did all of the custom work, truck and trailer. Um, he can make and build anything in house. The only thing he doesn't build is rear fenders and um, stacks. Everything yeah. you see on this truck, grill surround, bumpers, visor, drop skirts. Um, all the stainless paneling mm -hmm. on the trailer, all made in house. He's mm -hmm. extremely, extremely good. Floor, everything. So we're getting to look at this interior here. Um, and my finger that got into the shop there. Okay, I guess I can point on certain things, but uh, tell us about the interior. Well, we uh, we knew we wanted to go with some sort of brown because brown we thought would look very good with the green and the pearl on the truck, and. Um, Tony's upholstery from the, the area there where Dustin's out of. He's this is the first truck that he's done, and he absolutely knocked it out of the park. And uh, we just kind of brought the colors of leather and kind of the stitching that we kind of wanted to do, and he ran with it and uh, just turned out amazing. I, I couldn't be any more happy. I'd say probably the interior might be my favorite thing of the whole build and and that was my biggest concern going in is how we going to do the interior where it's different than what most people are doing and uh, I, I really like it I love it uh, now we're looking at uh, looks like this might be a name of the truck here notorious PIG <laughs> tell me about that yeah that name we we knew we had to name it something and we didn't know what and we was it took several months to get a name 
picked down, well, obviously people know the, the famous rapper back in the day, uh -huh. Notorious B.I.G., and we're a hog farm, and it's kind of, it, it just kind of was a funny, quirky name. And when I heard it, I'm like, that's it. That, that's <laughs> nice, it. nice, nice. All right, tell us about this dash panel and how that came about. Uh, we knew we wanted to go with, a, well, I knew I wanted to go with a 359 dash, and we wanted to incorporate that digital dash with how the dash flows in there, and it just, it really tied in very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it it's, uh, complements it very well, I think. Yeah. What size bunk is this? This would be a 36-inch coffin bunk. Okay. So what are the plans for the truck? I mean, because this is really, really, really super clean, you know, super nice. I've had a lot of people ask me that, and uh, we're going to show it this year. And we, we missed mats this year. That was kind of the goal to kick it off, but we missed that. So we're going to show it this year and then bring it to some next year. Then the plan is to kind of start working it. Okay. After that. Kind of start working it. <laughs> maybe, 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 sort of. Maybe. <laughs> it might see a load or two. <laughs> Whose stacks do you have on it? Dynaflex, I believe. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's Lincoln. It's Lincoln. Okay. Ultra smooth deck plate. Really loving this. Um, and uh, any other inspirations that you may have been a part of to, you know, well, to, it, to keep this if along? You very, if you look at the frame closely from front to rear, there's zero bolts. Even up in the front, we made our own shackles. Um, front and rear, even on the gearbox, we, we redid that to where there's no bolts anywhere front or rear on the whole entire truck. Nice. Hold this for a second. I'm going to go in closer and ask you some questions here. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at this uh, this T-bar back here. Tell me about that. So we kind of want to do the same design front to back. If you look at, pay attention to all the lights, uh, it's, all, it's all three tight, two wide on the whole thing, cab lights on the bumper, all the T-bars inside and every one of those uh, recessed pearl um, have uh, green lights up in them that you can't see now but at night during the night show you'll see those shining down on every single one of them e even on the interior nice. and we kind of carried that through on the trailer also right and i love this touch so ex explain this was there a, a thought behind this is, is well we that's that's where that rope light you can't see it but there's a dual rev rope light oh. on every single one of them it's, uh, you can kind of see it up in there, and if you look at every T-bar, every one of them has that same thing, and every light is dual rev, truck and trailer, and the lights will dance on the trailer. You'll and this is a, yeah, and that is like super recessed. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's it'll be hard to see that. I mean, with the magic of this little camera being able to tilt up there, we can see that, but that's awesome. And we also on the front, if you can see through, we have one on the front too. It's everything's the same yeah. way up in there, kind of. Covers that all up in there. Oh, yeah. All right, that's that is some work. So, about how many hours has gone into? Uh, oh into man, this so far? <laughs> I don't even know the. I mean, months and months of. In the last, what I can tell you is the last month we had three shifts of guys trying to make it to Louisville. Um, we worked through the night a lot, um, running on no sleep, but um, just. It, a lot of hard work it gives me a whole new respect for people that do this of this level mm -hmm. i mean i didn't know what i was getting into to be honest <laughs> but uh i love it i love how it turned out it's a good uh, feeling when you do all that work mm -hmm. and it turns out the way you want it to turn out yeah so i'm going to take this little uh camera here and, and look up in here and it looks like we still got some theming going on up here so tell me about the theme the, that carries on here the crown was not even thought of early on but when we kind of did the shirts that i have on here there was a crown hanging off of the pig's head and we're like, man, let's let's kind of use the crown theme, just kind of theming out, just a little subtle. I, I never liked anything that bounced out too hard, but something that's subtle. And and we kind of went with that. And there's a couple other things I'll point out mm -hmm. with that same crown sure, design. Let's go for it. If you look up underneath the trailer, we kind of enclosed all that in underneath there. Mm -hmm. And then same where the air and electrical, electrical goes in, that's all the same way. And then the notorious PIG on the rear T-bar, that same pig that's on the floor has got the crown on its ear there. And then it's also on the rear T-bar of the trailer. So it's not too much, but just a kind of a, and then the sign in front of the trucks, also a crown. 
Now let's move on to the, the wagon here. What uh, what year is this wagon? So the truck and trailers, or truck and trailers are both a 2023. Mm -hmm. This is a Wilson 53 foot spread. Um, we bought brand new and I kind of saved this particular wagon for to do this. I, I We bought four of them new and this one we saved for this exact reason. <laughs> so it turned out very well, but we took off all the railing. That's what people come up to me a lot and said that they can't figure out what looks different about it. Well, we took off all the railing mm -hmm. that was horizontal yeah. and we and then we polished everything. Then we couldn't fit this two and a half inch watermelon on there mm -hmm. on the factory rail. So instead of having to polish all the hucks and rivets, we just capped it with stainless, which allowed us to do not polish around rivets, keep that light. Mm -hmm. And then we was able to do those dual rev rope lights on every single panel that gotcha. shines green or orange yeah, at and, night. And a place to run your wires. Too. That's right. Yeah. There's over three mile of wire in the trailer. Jeez. Every single light, we got a main board up in the top nose and every single light Every single one's got to have a wire going to that main board up there. Every one of them. So who's the electrician then? <laughs> uh, his name is Matt, and he's a genius. Uh, and actually, it's Matt and his brother Doug. They're brothers, yeah. Matt and Doug. Okay. So Zach, we're getting to look at the, the rear side or the end of the trailer here. The wheels look real nice, so you guys, uh, uh, I guess I want to call it big hole the wheels. Big, what, yeah. What's what's the real term for that? I call it big hole myself. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good. So I'm, I'm not very far yeah, off. Yeah. All right, so we've got the T-bar the action going on back there on these back axles. Again, man, that, that really does carry through nice. Very, that was very difficult to be able to mount all those correctly. The rear was the toughest. We had to bring that out with that stainless so that rear t-bar would flow very smooth a lot of and, and flush very flush very, that was very difficult yeah that's perfect we also ship. got a wide body kit so these rails would come in if not these would kind of be hanging out there a little bit yeah and we wanted to have that real smooth where we could keep that same flow with those fenders yeah i tell you what there should be like a builder's award you know <laughs> you know because a lot of the trucks they'll they'll compete and they'll win awards and things, but there's there needs to be something for the builders you know, that go 10, 15, 20 extra million miles to get these trucks so perfect the way that they are. One thing with Dustin and his crew is everything's made in the house. I mean, the, you can't just buy this stuff. You know, some guys just and I I'm fine with all that, but some guys buy chrome and put it on. Well, the, everything is. 100% custom. Yeah. And except that's with a livestock trailer, there's n nobody's mass producing mm -hmm. stuff for a livestock no. trailer. But no. um, we really want to try to keep that flow with the truck and trailer. And uh, mm -hmm. I know a lot of guys will polish a rack, which is beautiful, but we really wanted to somehow do something different. And I, I feel like we, we did accomplish that. Absolutely. Uh, how long did it take to do all the polishing on this trailer? Uh, one guy did it in one month's time yeah now like i say all the stainless you know we made and that is stainless obviously yeah. but the polishing took one month and yeah. one guy did it he, he did a real good job too and he's on vacation now you know resting he's, he's his here. arms or he's here with <laughs> us he's not here now right but. on cool how many lights do you have overall on the truck you think um on just the trailer i think there's 210 or 212 all right cool lights on everything awesome we'll definitely be getting some shots of this at night So we're getting a great look at the passenger side. There's the, uh, the logo of the Dickerson and, uh, custom trucks right there. I love the incorporation of the old school look with two sticks. And uh, there's modern technology only a few inches away. Uh, but you get the best of both worlds, huh? Yep, that's it's a nice touch. I've always liked that when guys do that. And uh, I like when they're clean. You know, you don't have any of the, you know, where they shift up on the sticks, just straight smooth. That mm. makes it clean. Not that I'm against stripes on trucks, but I just really wanted to be smooth, just just smooth everywhere. 
So with what you're just mentioning about smooth and clean looking, that reminds me of Phil Miller's truck, that second truck that he had built. Uh, I interviewed him out in uh, Utah, and it's just, you know, no lines, but just a cool, great looking uh, paint job. Yeah. Yeah, we really wanted to go after that. We wanted to keep the frame, like I said earlier, real smooth, um, and just really people to focus on how clean stuff is and not get lost anywhere. Just, just it just kind of all goes together real smooth mm -hmm. so let's talk about these goodies here these pdi <laughs> goodies what do you got going on right there we got a compound set up there that we ordered a long time ago uh, come in and real smooth it just pulls real smooth um, i like them this is the first set i've ever ran and this is the first uh, time i've driven the truck from home to florida so i haven't experienced any anything loaded with them or anything yeah. but real real smooth so, I mean, it actually makes the truck quieter, which, you know, I actually like that now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. So what do you think uh, you're making horsepower-wise with it? Um, we figured seven and a quarter, okay. we're saying. Um, you know, have never had on a dyno, but... Mm -hmm. Is there any other folks that you'd want to give a shout-out to to as a thank you or anything Well, like um, Dustin and his whole crew, mm -hmm. without them and countless hours and... Um, all the people that work for us, they come over to Dustin's with me the last month of push, you might say. Lots of hours, stayed late. Mm -hmm. Dalton Smith is our head mechanic. He lived there for m more than a week mm -hmm. and hardly didn't sleep. And he and he and it wouldn't have been done for Florida if it wasn't for some of those guys yeah. getting through to try to make it to Louisville. But you know, we was able to get it here. So, yeah, so definitely thanks to all that and family and mm -hmm. just kind of be able to support you. Well, I will be excited to see what else you do with the truck and where it goes and the and, uh, people's reaction to the truck as well. And enjoy the rest of the show. And uh, thanks for your time. Definitely. I appreciate it. Thank you very right. much. We'll see you. Yeah, thank you. All right. I look forward to seeing it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, guys.